All Time Great 10 presents, Fascinating Facts About Steve Jobs. He believed the company's sole purpose was to build products, he said, the company is one of the most amazing inventions of humans, this abstract construct that's incredibly powerful. Even so, for me, it's about the products. It's about working together with really fun, smart, creative people and making wonderful things. It's not about the money. He considered buying Yahoo, one of the nuggets revealed in Schlender and Tetzel's book is that Jobs considered buying Yahoo. When Disney CEO Bob Iger would visit Jobs in Cupertino, they talked about various things including buying companies. One of his first jobs was in an apple orchard, between the time when Jobs dropped out of college and started working at Atari, he worked for an apple orchard that doubled as a commune in Oregon. His father was one of his biggest inspirations, Steve Jobs's father taught him the importance of paying attention to detail, Paul Jobs was a mechanic and a craftsman, and he often rebuilt cars on his weekends. He gave Steve his own small workbench when he was about five or six years old and said, Steve, this is your workbench now. He thought most people felt he didn't know how to run a business, when my life is over, people will give me credit for all the creative stuff, Jobs said while working at Next, but no one will know I actually know how to run a business. He turned down a liver transplant from Tim Cook, current Apple CEO Tim Cook was so close to Jobs that he offered him a portion of his liver when Jobs was sick. Jobs didn't even entertain the thought, here's what he told the authors, he cut me off at the legs, almost before the words were out of my mouth. No, he said. I'll never let you do that. I'll never do that. He would back down if the people he respected asked him to, Jobs was a great visionary, but he also had a temper at times. He wasn't the easiest person to work for. But if the engineers he respected on the Mac team told him to back off, he would. For example, if Jobs chewed out an engineer for not doing the work he expected, the team would say, hey, come on, there aren't that many people we can hire that are near as good as that guy go back and apologize, and Jobs would go apologize. He didn't like doing commencement speeches, Steve Jobs was a family man. He looked forward to coming home every day to have dinner with his wife and children. There are two main reasons he decided to deliver the commencement speech at Stanford University in 2005, it wasn't very far from his home so he didn't have to travel and be away from his family. And he respected Stanford for its rich history of producing tech influencers. He almost skipped two grades in middle school, Steve skipped sixth grade altogether, and his teachers even considered having him bypass seventh grade, too. After that, his parents decided that it was time for him to attend a better, more challenging school. They moved to an area of Los Altos that had one of the best school districts in California. He didn't like firing people especially after he had kids, after Steve Jobs had children, he found it much more difficult to fire people. Here's what he said, when I look at people when this happens, I also think of them as being five years old kind of like I look at my kids. And I think that that could be me coming home to tell my wife and kids that I just got laid off. Or that it could be one of my kids in 20 years. I never took it so personally before. Thanks guys for watching. 
hit the like button and subscribe for more, peace.